Our top story impacting a lot of people tonight. Routes cut, prices increased. Major changes coming from MATA bus riders. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joy Redman. And I'm Joe Birch. And it's just the latest in what has been a slew of issues with our city's public transportation system, which has been drawn smaller and smaller. Action News 5's Kelly Cook found out employers are now working to find reliable options for their employees in light of these new cuts. Kelly? Yeah, Joe, as you know, MATA has been operating in a deficit for years, but this is one of the worst years yet. So in addition to the budgeted 200 job, job cuts, they're going into the next phase to get back in the black. By mid-afternoon, we caught up with Charlene Foster in Whitehaven. Sometimes they early, sometimes they late. She's been waiting an hour and a half for the 42 bus. I'm taking the going shopping and paying bills. It's the perils of being a bus rider in Memphis, but things are about to get worse. She also takes Route 69, which will be going away November 3rd. I could think it's wrong this should leave well enough alone. It's not fair for people who don't catch the bus, messing with the ones who does catch the bus. It's too far to walk. The Winchester Corridor is one of five routes being discontinued, including Route 28, servicing the Memphis International Airport. I got two good morning, man. I got two good morning. That rider told me he was an airport employee for the past several years and depends on this bus route. Airport Authority said in a statement, quote, as matter works to align available resources with current commute habits, we are committed to exploring connectivity options with the organizations for those impacted. The matter changes comes on the heels of an internal audit by MATA earlier this year that discovered the bus system was operating about $60 million in the red. But that's the main responsibility of a board is to look at the finances and make sure that they're being spent properly. So going forward, we're going to do that. We're going to do that, and we're going to make sure whatever form public transportation takes in the future, that it is a fiscally responsible public transportation system. Memphis City Council member Jerry Green says the solution to getting MATA back on track is to get his finances in order, which is why she says this council is conducting its own external audit of the $30 million the council gave to the transportation company. But as for the bus riders like Foster, that's not the short-term solution she's hoping for. This is something that's going to take time, and we want to do it right, so we've got to do our due diligence. Well, one of those discontinued routes includes Route 34, that services Baptist Memorial Hospital. They say they are working with MATA and looking for other options, but also said in part, our discussions with staff members thus far have indicated very few, if any, regularly rely on MATA for transportation to and from work. And we use ride share services to help transport patients who need assistance when they are discharged from the hospital, end quote. Again, MATA shows a low ridership route in order to discontinue. We are live in Midtown. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.